The city of Munich, Germany has been hit by what police initially described as a terrorist attack. Now they are saying that it's not a terrorist attack, it was instead just a mass shooting. To the victims and their families, it doesn't matter what the definition is. Yet again, violence has broken out in Germany, this time a courtesy of an 18-year-old youth who was born in Germany but is also of Iranian nationality, as in he is a dual Iranian-German citizen. He killed himself after murdering several children at McDonald's. This incident has gripped Germany because Germany is a nation divided over the issue of immigrants flowing into the country. Thanks to the mismanagement of Germany's Chancellor, Angela Merkel, the whole process has been a debacle. Illegal immigrants have raped German women. They have brought down the standards of living in areas that they are being resettled. They are not adapting culturally to German culture. Even Merkel herself has said that multiculturalism is a lie and it's a myth. These people are not assimilating. While it does take time for assimilation to occur properly, the fact is many Muslim migrants do not integrate the way other cultures do. This is a statistical fact. There are a number of reasons for that. In the case of Germany, this is going to cause further problems for Merkel and her party because although the killer in this instance was not a member of the Islamic State, the average German doesn't care. All he sees is that it was a foreigner, quote unquote, even though this individual was born and raised in Germany. That does not make him a foreigner, but when people are overly emotionally charged on issues where emotions control their thinking instead of logic, this type of twisted thinking will continue. The Islamic State naturally is exploiting this, implying that they are behind it, they are plotting it, even though they're not involved, according to police. According to law enforcement officials, the killer lured children to McDonald's by putting a phony posting on his Facebook page saying that there would be prizes and free food that would be given away. Not surprisingly, he chose McDonald's, which is very popular. It's frequented a lot by parents bringing their children uh, to get Happy Meals and play in the playground equipment. With the promise of prizes and free food, attendance was above normal. He then chose his victims, shot them. At least uh, nine people are dead, as many as 27 injured. The killer raged about foreigners, which is rather ironic since he himself is considered to be a foreigner, at least according to some Germans, although he's actually a full-blooded German, meaning he was born and raised in Germany. As predicted in Daily World, Democratic candidate for president Hillary Clinton has chosen Tim Kaine as her running mate. As was mentioned in an editorial yesterday in Daily World, it was predictable that Hillary would make this choice because she is betraying her liberal base. This is typical Clinton. She will say and do anything, like Angela Merkel does ironically, to pander for votes and then once she wins an election or gets the power that she's after, she then forgets what she said and, and what she promised. If she doesn't deliver on the goods, she does what she wants to do, which is not necessarily in the best interests of the country or most Americans. In the case of her choice for running mate, this senator from Virginia, and he is the senator of a swing state, a state that Hillary must carry in the election, that's one of the reasons he was chosen, he has a stance that has been opposite of hers, depending on which Hillary Clinton you want to believe. Take the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement as just one example. Hillary Clinton was one of the greatest champions of it for a long time, until months ago when she suddenly changed her mind. Now she's against it, saying it's not in America's best interest. Yet, for a long time it was, according to her. Her and Barack Obama were some of its largest advocates. Obama is still for passage of the TPP. Big labor and labor unions and many Democrats as a whole oppose the TPP for one valid reason. 
it will cost Americans to lose their jobs. America's already lost many jobs overseas to cheaper foreign labor, especially to Asia. The TPP would expedite this process, which makes one wonder why Barack Obama would be for it, or even Hillary Clinton. But there's no question that Hillary's running mate is pro-TPP. So you have to question the integrity and honesty of an individual, a politician, Hillary Clinton in this case, who would sit there and choose an individual who, as a running mate who opposes some of the things that she supports. It, it defies logic. But who said American politics was logical? No one with any sanity. Communist China has built the world's largest amphibious aircraft. This is a photograph of the beast right here. It is designed, of course, to land and take off in water. Water is a topic that has the Communist Party in China particularly obsessed nowadays, or at least in recent history, because it is China who is trying to control the sea lanes in Asia to exercise control in the region. The United Nations has recently ruled against China, saying it has no historical claim that is valid to the sea lanes that it is claiming. China, predictably, as we've mentioned in the Daily World before, will ignore anything that it doesn't agree with because it's communist China. And now China is busy trying to set up what it calls an air defense corridor to block off or protect the areas that it's claiming as a matter of sovereignty. Good luck with that. The Democratic Party has yet another scandal on its hands. It's now a question of whether the media really care, since the media is largely in the tank for, the American media is largely in the tank for Hillary Clinton versus, say, antagonist Donald Trump. Thanks to yet another document dump from WikiLeaks, some 20,000 emails that were hacked by a Romanian calling himself Guccifer 2.0. We now know that the Democratic Party conspired to publish a phony Craigslist ad attacking Donald Trump. I'll repeat that. They conspired to create a phony Craigslist ad to smear Donald Trump. And the Democrats complain about Trump's tactics? Talk about hypocrisy. Another wonderful thing the party elites did in the Democratic Party, who are, by the way, in Clinton's pocket. She has promised several of them, including Party Chairman Debbie Wasserman Schultz, a plum position in her cabinet, should she become president. They set out on a systematic campaign to lie and smear Hillary Clinton's rival, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders. Well, that's not surprising to anyone who really knows the true nature of the Clintons. It is disappointing, to understate the issue, that the party elites themselves would be involved to the, to the degree that they were to essentially lie about another fellow Democrat all so that they could be in Hillary Clinton's grace and, again, be in the tank for her to be elected as their nominee for President of the United States. Whoever said that politics wasn't dirty doesn't understand politics.